All right, and welcome back to the Terrible Table of Terror. Uh, we got Castle and Saga here. Saga's behind the controls as usual. We're going to be playing a little bit of XCOM 2. Uh, apparently, the console... Like a week ago, came out. Uh, the console version just came out like a mm -hmm. week ago, and this is like one of Saga's favorite games. Big so, um, Yeah, if you don't have it on console, you should be... Well, or on PC, you should get it. Um, get the first one, because that one's also awesome. Uh, it's XCOM Enemy Unknown. Yes. Yeah, and then Enemy Within is the expansion. Um, so much better with Enemy Within. You get to be like genetics and like get mech guys. Yeah, it's Anyways, so we're gonna be playing some XCOM too. Two. No, no genetics, no mech guys. Like yeah, I said that. Yeah, don't worry about any of that. <laughs> uh, go get that game if you want to know about that. Uh, but here. We're gonna be playing some XCOM too. Yeah. We're gonna so play let's game. jump into it. Because we don't want to play my game. Yeah, no, and we're definitely doing Iron Man because I'm not doing that, and I get like pissed off when people die, and I'm just like reload. That didn't actually happen, so this makes it more interesting. I okay, let's rock it. Do we care about the cinematic? Um, yeah, we'll just let it. Okay. This is 20 years after the first. One. Okay. After the end of the event, the first. One. When no matter what happens, you lost the war. Okay. And the aliens have taken over. And right. Implemented this world government called Advent. Called what? Advent. 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 That it, it's there now. <laughs> True. We warned them about spoilers. So. Okay. So yeah, there's much plot going on. Yeah. And this guy, he's called the Speaker. Uh huh. He's like the human. He's like the middleman. He's who the aliens talk to. He's like the human top official of the government. Oh, Advent sucks. They're dicks. I kind of assumed. Yeah, but like... I, well, I figured there probably wouldn't be a second game otherwise. Well, because like, well, at the end of the first game, it seems like you win. Well... But it's like an Independence Day kind of thing. Like, you just shoot down the one big ship, and then you're like, we did it! And then, like, they're like, we have more ships. Like, are, you like, Shit. are you serious? <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Why didn't I think of that? So, um, I didn't turn the tutorial on. But in the tutorial mission, where it kind of just like teaches you how to move and how to shoot right. and stuff... Um, you play as one of the main guys from the first one. This dude, right? His uh, his name's Bradford. Okay. And um, he like he and this team come and like save you as the commander. Like you have been kidnapped by the aliens. Okay. And, and so then you the tutorial are mission like... is going to save that him or you. Okay. As the player. Yeah. Um, and so when it gets out of this, um, like it'll just go like that already happened. Like that mission's done. Okay. Yeah. And so then you're like the so you, your guy is never like on. Yeah, it's just like you. Yeah, you're oh, it's always like looking it's at a fire emblem type. Yeah, thing. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. cool. Well, so here we go. I am the commander. Uh oh. It's okay. Bradford's a badass. He wasn't a badass in the first one. He was just like I like I kind of do all the day to day stuff while you do all the commanding stuff. And in this one, he's just a straight. Well, I mean, he had to be. It's the it's commander been went rough. away, and then yeah, yeah. It's he's been, been like leading this whole guerrilla war. Yeah, he picked it up pretty quick. No, it's good. It's good to have good people in charge. Mm -hmm. One. Yeah, the person's just walking away. Whatever. Oh, kaboom. Yeah, gorilla strikes are fun. Yeah? Signal received. Not for the aliens. No. Well, see, and that's what I like about this game with the difficulty being the way it is. It's like you're going to lose eight people, and that's just like... It's gorilla war. It's gorilla Right, shit's like there's and there's like there's a bug out command. Like you could be like this mission's going to shit. There's no way. Like just get them out. Like just run. We failed. Like not a good mission for us. So I like that. That's a thing because that wasn't a thing in the first one. He well, just fought to the last man. That's fine. But at the time, that's what you're doing. Right. The last man. And so we're just gonna. These are all randomized. Okay. All of the operation names except for this one. Okay. Um, and that's always super fun. <laughs> Some of them are great. <clears throat> and so you get to like create units in this. Yes. Game. Okay. So uh, yeah, it's not. And you can. You got all these people, and then you can like yeah hire as many as you want. But yeah, you can go through and you can customize everything from their name to what they look like, their biography, where they're from. Like yeah, okay. you have like full control over it, which it's a little more than the first one. The first one you could do the names and like the faces and stuff, but like their nationality was their nationality. Okay. And like for like so people like me who can get into like the like in depth stuff of it, like I'd want to make my friends and stuff, but I'd be like, well, this guy's like German. So I, like you know, it was just like I was always looking for like the, all right, me and my brothers, and I want I needed to have two people from the same nationality. Gotcha. So it was just like little things where most people would be like, I don't really care. 
But for me, I was like, ah. yeah. So in this one, I could just like change what country they're from. And uh, it's kind of cool too, like little touches, like if they're French, they'll have, um, they'll speak French. You can turn that off or they all speak English and stuff like that. But I okay. think it's kind of interesting when they move, they just like yell in their native tongue. That's cool. Mm -hmm. That's a nice little touch. I think so too. Not making everyone speak generic English. Yep. That's cool. But um, yeah, so pretty much it's turn-based stuff uh, when it comes to the combat piece. Well, yeah, it's a, it's a tactics game. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, you like can move first games. and then attack, or like the yellow is move twice. So the blue stuff here is a one move. When I come out of that, it'll turn yellow. Oh, so that's, that's like D&D &D style. Yeah. Where you can move and then act, mm -hmm. or you can double move if you yep. decide not to like attack or something. Yep, and then okay. there's so, so there's this one unit that's a sharpshooter. And um, they have like pistols and stuff. They have, they cannot move and snipe. Okay, so they if just they have move, to shoot from where they are. Yeah, but um, yeah, right when they. But get, they can move and use their pistol. Yes. Okay, they but can, they can't use the sniper rifle. Right, um, but they get like right when they become uh, sharpshooters. They or, or <clears throat> this is the most important command I think. So if he moves once and I still have no unit in turn, I can put him under Overwatch. So now if anyone crosses his field of fire. Oh, so he's just looking. He'll open fire. Yeah. Okay, so he's just like a proximity so, alarm. Mm -hmm. So right in the beginning of missions, like right now you can see with this, I'm in concealment. So I can Ooh, like set up ambushes. Fancy. All right? I can set up ambushes and stuff. So cool. I can get it to like where I have like an alien squad in my sights, and then I can have three guys going to Overwatch, and they don't suffer the aim penalty from being in concealment. So when one guy opens up and the aliens now move to take cover, everyone else just lights them up as they start running. Okay. It's pretty sweet. Okay, cool. Which you'll see that here in a second. Once and uh, what is the objective of this mission? Uh, this mission um, neutralize all enemy targets and plant X4 on this monument. So we're going to blow that monument up. Okay. Okay. Yep. <clears throat> all right. So kill everybody and blow yep. up the statue. And I know in the first mission there's only two squads. It's pretty easy stuff. So, cool. okay. So, so now I know the aliens this are right here. Intro. So I'm going to kind of start moving my guys to set this. Think you can finish this in the first episode? Oh, yeah. This mission, it, yeah, this will take two seconds. We're only, yeah, we'll finish this and then we'll call. It'll be no problem. All right, so so here's how I'm going to do. So I don't want to dash him because I'm trying to set this ambush up. So I'll use this person to set up the shot. Uh huh. Uh huh. This person we're going to bound here. We so we're just going totally ridiculous with this playthrough, right? Huh? No, I'm playing this series. Well, I meant with like people. Oh hell yeah. Okay. That good. makes it. That's half the fun. Getting <laughs> out. Okay. So yeah, so I'm throwing these guys into Overwatch. We're gonna move her to a slightly better spot. Okay. All right. So now they all have you. So now this one's gonna, he's, she's gonna kick it off. So now our concealment's gone. I like her hair. Right. Oh man, he just got wrecked. Yeah. Oh, the death. He just melted that guy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So now as these guys run to take cover, the They're other guys are just gonna other, rip them okay. apart. Hello. Oh, or they'll just... You or Well, the first yep. guy got it. Okay, well, that's... Oh, there we go. Squad's down. Flawless victory. One down. Promotion earned. Yeah. You want to... Yeah, on the Promotion first earned. one, you want to make sure everyone gets a kill so they'll not be rookies anymore. It only that's takes... Good. It only takes one kill to not be a rookie. After that, it's a little bit more. All right, we'll take out that other squad. Let's do well, this. we got to find them. Well... Well, okay, so we're, we're, they're probably on the other... No, so squads aggro like D&D &D individually. So the other squad isn't okay. aggroed up by that fight. So, we'll so are you still in concealment no. then? <clears throat> okay. Concealment goes away. There's a unit called the Ranger that can uh, maintain concealment individually from the squad. So when the squad will lose concealment, the that. Ranger won't. Okay. And the Rangers get swords. Oh, that's fun. Mm-hmm. And they can do like super strong melee attacks, and then as you get more technology, you can get laser swords. Laser swords. Because let's be honest, everybody wants a laser sword. I think I have like 600 hours in this game. Jesus. I like this one a lot. <laughs> no. Alright, so there. So is that the whole squad? Uh huh. And, and then, I'm assuming the big dude in the red hat is like. He's like the commander. Okay. He, um, they're still pretty easy units. He can just do this thing called marking. And it'll up everyone else's accuracy that fires on that target. Oh. Well, good. But well, she's in, she, well, she's in full cover, so it kind of just neutralizes that. Yeah, when you're in full cover compared to half cover, um, like, he's only in half cover, so he doesn't have as big of an aim penalty. Okay. And this guy is, like, completely flanked. 
but he just sucks at shooting. Well, that's good. So flanking, yeah, flanking super important. So now I need to be careful about what I do next because this dude here is an Overwatch. So we'll try to take him out first. Bang, 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 bang. Oh, get wrecked. They all like twitch yeah. after they die. And sometimes their bodies like phase through stuff. It's pretty great. Okay, who didn't get I mean, that's what happens when the one you did get a kill. I can't remember. Oh, well. We'll just play through this and see what happens. Okay. You just get him. So I'll move this here, and then that'll be a flanking shot. Flanking shots improve their chances to crit. Oh, that makes sense. And their um, shot percentage goes way up because they're not in cover anymore. Okay. Okay, so now we need to move on this duty. Alright, so, or, let's see, 40%, I don't like those odds, so we're just gonna do this. Frag up! Frags don't do as much damage as the guns do, but it's guaranteed hit. And it's nice because, like, this won't, but, like, a lot of the times it'll, it'll blow up the cover that they're behind. Oh. So then the rest of the squad is just, like, fair game. <laughs> just, just shoot him. Can I reach another grenade there? No? Alright, we'll have to take our chances on 27. Nice. Got him! All right, so now neutralize. She gets a promotion. <laughs> yeah, that was it. Ah, I told you. Good call. So Mohawk Lady. <laughs> Mohawk Lady. Mohawk Lady. You remember that commercial for World of Warcraft with Mr. T in it? Oh, yeah. The night Elf, night Mohawk. Elf, Mohawk. And then you got the it's, Mohawk it's, grenades. It's, 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 it's called a ranger. Shut up, fool. <laughs> Did you ever play after that? Uh, you got mohawk grenades, and you could throw them at people, and then they would have the night elf mohawk. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. Briefly. They wouldn't, like, change anything, but just, like, their avatar briefly. All right, that's it. Mission done. Flawless. All right. Nobody hurt, nobody killed. Nice. All right, well, I guess that's... We'll probably call it for episode one. That's a good intro to what's coming. Yeah, I think so. All right, episode so... Episode two, we get to name people. Nice. That's going to be... That's probably going to be all of episode two. Fair warning. For anyone who's watching this, but uh, that should be fun. I think so too. But yeah, so that's gonna do it for episode one of XCOM Two. I'm guessing most of it's gonna be Saga just telling us about the game and how much he loves no, it. No, no, no. That was that was because we skipped the tutorial. That was your tutorial. You're welcome. Okay. Well, consider, now you know me, how to play. consider me tooted. But uh, we will There's see no you way next that's time. The word for that.